what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel um, as you can see I'm not out in the shop I'm actually inside the house I'm in my living room uh, it's raining outside I don't feel like trying to walk in the rain out to the shop carrying all of my stuff so I figured I'd just do this right here while I have some time and a little bit of quietness in the house uh, first of all uh, thank you for everybody who's tuning in and everybody who's been supporting the channel uh, if you like the videos, please smash that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, and if you like what I'm doing, uh, hit that subscribe button. Also, uh, I have noticed that when I look at my my uh, analytics, my analytics, the uh, analysis of my channel, it shows that a good portion, at least 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed to this channel. So please, please, please do me a huge favor. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time I do a video. Uh, last month, uh, some things got switched up with my payment stuff. Uh, as far as my monster bass goes, so I'm getting my boxes towards the end of the month. And last month was just really, really hectic, and I never did get a monster bass video out. So, this will be, I want to say, the second time that I've done a monster bass video where I'm actually doing two months worth of video. So, here we go. Let's jump into it. Got the boxes right here. Uh... Nope, this is this month's box. I'm going to do that one next. So, last month, box came in. And this box is full of baits that are produced by Monster Bass themselves. So, Monster Bass, they still uh, partner up with a lot of the uh, name brand uh, fishing companies that's out here uh, with all the lures and stuff. But since Monster Bass has started, they have also got into the production of making their own lures. So uh, I believe this is actually the first Monster Bass box that is an exclusively Monster Bass lure uh, box. So as always, you have the, the guide booklet the, that gives you lots of uh, information on how to use certain lures, the best places, best times, uh, our... Moon face. I don't know if you guys can see that really good with the light, but uh, the different phases of the moon for the month of September. It even has the, on the next page the month of October. Also, depending on where you live, uh, don't let each box, you know, really make you think that you can only use these lures for that month. Uh, the water temperature here is probably still a little warm. It's probably going to be a little cooler because we've had some rain uh, for the last two days, three counting today, but uh, the water temp is still a little warm. So whatever lures you got last month when we had a lot of that warm weather for the southern, uh, southern area, uh, the, the lures that's in the box for the month of October will still work um, or should I say the, the lures that you got for the month of September will still work in this month. So some of these boxes that you get, you can still carry it over for that next month, maybe even the next two months, and still be able to use these lures and catch fish. Uh, but like I said, we've got all kinds of uh, great information in here, uh, tips from professionals and some of the other pro staff. So. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm just going to reach in. Here we go. We have the Monster Bass Incision 69, which is basically just a lipless uh, crankbait. Uh, two and a half inches in length, half ounce in weight. Um, I would throw this on a maybe a seven foot medium heavy rod, or maybe, maybe a medium, uh, medium action because it's treble hooks. Uh, you don't want a really, really stiff rod. You want something that's got some give in it. Uh, also, I would use about maybe 10 to 14 pound uh, fluorocarbon. You want something that's going to have some give so that way uh, when, those, uh, when the fish go to make one of those last minute surges, you want something, a rod that's going to have some give in it not too stiff to where it rips those treble hooks out of their mouth so you want something that has some play and give so when they do make those surges 
got a little bit of a sponginess or spring action more to let them load up and then that way when you're fighting that fish you're not gonna rip those treble hooks out of their mouth uh, I'm gonna look in here real quick see if I can find anything from a professional standpoint on using this lipless crankbait up oh, right here okay so the depth and location water depth is going to vary and the structure and cover uh, you can throw this around grass humps you can throw it out in open water around riprap points and rocks gear suggestion medium for monster bass lunker stick and i am not sure if this is just a medium action or not uh, it says 17 pound fluorocarbon 7.5 to 1 gear ratio bait caster uh, again i've said this several times the 7 to 1 gear ratios for me is that medium high uh range on your fishing reels you're not going super super fast but you know it's fast enough for you to get that bait down to the depth that you're wanting to fish it um 17 pound fluorocarbon is what they're suggesting just remember the higher up you go with your your line size then the shallower you'll be uh getting this lured down so you want to play with that depending on uh the depth that you're trying to fish and that's for the uh the incision 69 monster bass lipless crankbait Okay, the next one in here is the Monster Bass Slick Stick 99, and it is their jerk bait. Uh, 99 millimeters and a half ounce, and the weight. Uh, the color of this is ghost blue, and then the color of the uh, jerk bait here is ghost pro blue so you're, you're looking at about the same color they both have that let's see if i can't oh my goodness i cannot they both got that bluish color on the top a little bit of orange or yellowish on the belly so tra uh, translucent so they're about the same color so see if they've got anything in the book as far as the slick stick goes And they don't have anything on this um, again for me I would fish this with about a, a 6.9 uh, rod medium again and again you would vary your line size depending on the depth that you're trying to fish um, and the cadence is going to be determined you know a lot of things are going to determine the cadence of how you fish this this jerk bait uh, water temperature water clarity but then also just allowing the fish to tell you what they want what kind of cadence you want something you know if they want something fast moving or if they want something a little bit slower uh, so far from what I have seen as far as professionals using jerk baits for those of you that are lucky enough to have the um, uh, live scope on your boats live scope and jerk baits have been going you know together hand in hand because it allows you to see how the fish are reacting to your bait so that'd be a good choice to still throw next we have the monster bass seeker six and this color here is what they call cracked because as you can see it has the uh the cracked patterns in it and everything uh dives four to six feet again that's going to vary with your line size two and a half inches in length and it's a half ounce in weight um again you're dealing with treble hooks so you probably want to throw this on a medium action rod uh let me go real quick to the book so they've got a seven foot monster bass lunker stick and that's for the seeker, seeker six and seeker eight and then a seven foot eight inch monster bass lunker stick uh for the seeker eight and seeker 12. and this they vary the line sizes anywhere from 12 to 17 pound fluorocarbon 
with a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio reel. Uh, you can throw this around humps, ledges, you can throw it out in open water, around riprap, points, docks, and rocks. So just your typical, uh, this isn't really, it's not a square bill, but just your typical shallow water uh, crankbait. Okay, next we have some monster bass. This one is brand new for the year of 2024. It has a QR code on here, new bait for 2024. Scan, help us name this bait. Um, so it's some kind of a crawl. Some kind of a crawl style bait, as you can see. Uh, the pinchers are not connected, so you don't have to worry about tearing those off. These look very, very good. Looks, this one looks like a green pumpkin. Maybe green or black flake in it. Uh, it's probably got a little bit of a little bit of oil on them. Not a whole lot, so they're not real like greasy or anything like that. Um, I would probably throw this. Texas rig, use it as a jig trailer. Uh, the Tokyo rig would be a good one to throw it on. Uh, maybe even dragging it on the bottom on a Carolina rig. Okay, so again, no name for these yet. So guys, uh, hit that QR code. I'm pretty, I don't know if they've already got it done. So I can get that on there for you. Hit that QR code and help Monster Bass name that lure right there. Okay, and again, we have a new soft plastic for 2024, so I'm going to do this one as well. Okay, this one is more of a worm. This one has a little bit more scent on it, or not really scent, but just a little bit more of the oil. Uh... So it's very, very ribbed. Uh, this one looks like a PBJ color, a little bit of purple and then a little bit of an orange. But that's gonna displace a lot of water, probably put a lot of vibration in the water. Again, this is good uh, Texas rig, Carolina, maybe even wacky rig, Nico rig. Um, What's the other one I'm trying to, sh uh, shaky head, you know, those are all going to be good ones to use on that. Uh, right here, they talk a little bit about the Tokyo rig. Uh, it's a bottom, bottom fishing style. Uh, you can fish it around grass, humps, ledges, fish it around tules and reeds, brush piles, open water, rip wrap points, docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, the suggested gear, a uh, 7.4 Monster Bass Lunker Stick, I'd probably go with a 7.4 Medium Heavy, or if you're fishing in the grass and stuff like that, then you probably want to step it up to a heavy action rod. 20 pound fluorocarbon, 8.1 gear to ratio reel. That's going to be a high speed reel, so that way you can get it in there and make those pitches, and then get your lure out really fast to make more pitches into other cover and stuff. Um, along with that, they have sent a tungsten pro pack that comes with, and this one's good for, uh, comes with quarter ounce Texas rig or flipping. So you got two quarter ounce weights. Uh, you got six beads and then a little pack of uh, barber stops. And then you have the terminal tackle Tokyo rig in there that already has your hook and then your wire to put your weights on so you can fish those plastics Tokyo rig and then of course you get your monster bass ticket for when they go live on Thursdays their monster bass sticker and if you haven't if you guys have tried um, fish brain there is a new one out called fish angler that monster bass uses uh, as a Monster Bass customer, you get unlimited access to the largest fishing community in the world. So download that, give it a try, see what you think. And that is it for the September box. I'm sorry that it took me 
two whole months to get this video done. Um, so I'll try to stay on top of this as soon as I get these boxes. Hopefully uh, I can get through this one before my camera dies on me because my batteries are dying. I need to scoot back a little bit more. Sorry. So this is my October box. Okay. Just got this one in the other day, so I'm pretty on time with getting this one out to you guys. So starting off, let's see if I got a popper in here because that's what it starts off with on the first page. And here we go. We have the Excalibur 7 16th ounce popper right there. That color granule. So it looks like it's supposed to be imitating a frog color, but poppers, again, since you're using those with a downward motion, probably want to go with a six foot, six nine uh, rod, uh, medium action because of those treble hooks. Fish this around over grass, brush piles, open water, rip wrap, docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, they're suggesting a seven foot monster bass lunker stick. 14 pound monofilament or 30 pound braid, 8.1 to one gear ratio reel. So good top water lure to throw right there. Uh, we got a square bill crankbait. And in this box, we have the Yozuri 3DB square bill crankbait. Uh, the color on this is natural bluegill. Uh, we got this one near the surface to several feet deep grass humps open water rip wrap points docks rocks and trees 7.4 monster bass lunker stick 14 pound fluorocarbon 7.2 to 1 gear ratio reel is what they suggest for throwing this uh, again you can't go wrong with throwing this thing in shallow water because it is a shallow diving uh, bait but if you can get that thing down a couple more feet, then go ahead and throw it down there. You can't go wrong with it. Uh, again, medium action rods. And the reason I say medium action is because, like I said, something with some give in it for those treble hooks. Uh, this says finesse follow up. So let me see what we got in here for some finessing. Okay. I'm going to say they're talking about these excite baits. These look like little gobies. Uh, drop shot these. Uh, um, I mean, I, that's probably all I could think of doing with these is drop shotting uh, these. Uh, surface, immediate subsurface, grass humps. Tule's reeds, open water, rip wrap points, docks, rocks, and trees. So maybe uh, on a small hook and then just kind of keeping this above the surface. Uh, if I'm reading the correct one, 7-4 uh, monster bass lunker stick, and this is on a spinning rod, 14 pound fluorocarbon, 3000 series spinning reel. That could even go for these here, which is another monster bass worm that uh, is new for this year, for the next year, I mean, excuse me, for 2024. So also need help naming this. And I mean, you can, with this one, you could either go just fishing this weightless on a, um, a tech, weightless Texas rig or you could be throwing this on a shaky head or maybe wacky rigging. So just anything that's more of a finesse style fishing presentation. Okay, then we have this jig. This is a V&M. Uh, this is designed by Cliff Pace. Uh, it's called the Pulse Swim Jig and the color is Threadfin Shad. Uh, this one is a... The water depth is highly variable, meaning you could throw these, throw this anywhere, no matter the depth. 
throw this around grass, humps, ledges, tules, reeds, brush piles, open water, riprap, points, mats, docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, the suggested gear for this, 7.4 Monster Bass Lunker Stick, 20 pound fluorocarbon, 8.1 to 1 gear ratio reel. Uh, I like this color. Most lure companies would probably call this a sexy shad, but they call it threat fin shad. But I like this color plus the white lets it be visible to you so you can see, you know, if you're fishing in a shallow area, you will be able to see those fish when they bite on this. And then what I like is they also send these X zone lures called muscleback chunk and a white color and you can pair these with this jig here and make that a nice little combination we also have this Bagley Sunny Bee crankbait it's a shallow water crankbait uh, six to seven feet deep medium diving so cool little crankbait and of course oh wait wait and then we get these little finesse spear point hooks so this would pair up with those excite baits so again you know if you want to throw this on a finesse rig uh your your what am i trying to say your spinning rod and just kind of work this on the top this will pair up great with these hooks and those excite baits and then our monster bass sticker says kiss my bass so monster bass is always having fun with their stickers cool little sayings that relate to uh to fishing just another way for them to have fun so that was the october box uh I mean, I'm, I'm, again, guys, I'm so sorry. It takes me forever now to get my videos out because things are just so hectic and crazy. But uh, if you guys like the videos, again, hit the thumbs up button. Leave me comments. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button and subscribing to the channel. That will help me out a whole lot. I will try to do better about getting my videos out. Plus, I'm going to start getting some videos out of me out doing some actual live fire shooting so you guys be looking out for that um that's all i got so again thank you everybody who tuned in and watched and until the next time i see you guys in the great outdoors